Ladies and gentlemen, and everyone else, <laughs> we're going to do Maestro Lowry has his banjo here. Do you know the definition of a gentleman? The a guy who owns a banjo but doesn't play it. <laughs> <laughs> so, John. The definition of an optimist? A banjo player with a pager. Be 
being so sincere right now Even though you broke my heart and killed me And tore me to pieces And threw every beast into a fire As the bird it hurt because I was so happy for you Points of data make a beautiful line And we're out of beta, we're releasing on time So I'm glad I got burned We know all the things we learned For the people who are still alive Here's my favorite part Go ahead and leave me I think I prefer to stay inside Someone else to help you. Maybe Black Mesa. <laughs> that was a joke. Ha ha, bad chance. Anyway, this cake is great. It's so delicious and wonderful. Let me still talking to the science will do. When I look out there, it makes me glad I'm not. Would you say, um, sometimes I dream about cheese? <laughs> sometimes I dream about cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Any other one? Yes. 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 <laughs> front row, front row. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, 1984, we both got hired for a European tour of the show by Jerome Kern and Oscar Hammerstein II. Showboat. And I was Magnolia, the sweet young ingenue. And John played guitar and banjo in the pit. And I'm still playing banjo, but she's still not an ingenue. <laughs> <laughs> and I was 
never sweet. Trust me. That's how we met. Yes, sir. Yes. So, uh, Telltale Games in San Francisco, you know, they called Gabe Newell. This is the same reason that I got to do Pacific Rim, because he you know, like, Thank you. I love that movie. Uh, GDT, as many people call him, had to, had to ask Gabe Newell. So the people at Telltale Games, who did Poker Night, called up Gabe Newell and said, we want to do this, can we have GLaDOS be one of our guest dealers? And the, the script was vetted by Eric Wolpaw, who was the principal writer, he and Jay Pinkerton, uh, for the Portal Games. It was vetted by him. He didn't change anything, but he said, yeah, you know, they seem to have captured, you know, the GLaDOS character, so that's totally cool. And when I got down to San Francisco, they flew me down there, and I recorded for five hours straight. And they had to explain the game to me because I don't play poker. <laughs> so it was like, okay, what does this mean? Okay, what does this mean? But then when I recorded the stuff where, you know, there was this sort of little, you know, uh, electric moment, little, little romance between GLaDOS and Claptrap, I really thought it was very funny. And I have to say, I really think the Telltale Games guys did a really good job at least on the stuff that I had to do, so it was a lot of fun doing it. And you know, I actually met David, and I'm blanking his last name, but the man who voices Claptrap, we just met him yeah, in Detroit. Yeah, right, right, real nice guy. Yeah, and, and I recorded phone messages for his two young sons. <laughs> <laughs> so. But this gentleman here in the red, in the red coat, and wait, didn't you have a question a little while ago? Or have you forgotten? Or was it was you, you, you behind, yes, yes, yes. Right. So was it, um, with the abundance of characters that were added for Portal 2, was it like a lot more fun to be interacting with characters like Wheatley and Kate Johnson? Well, the abundance of characters, it really was just Stephen Merchant and J.K. Simmons. J.K. Simmons is Kate Johnson, Stephen Merchant is Wheatley. I mean, there wasn't really an abundance of characters. It was just the three of us, because I did all the turrets, I did Carolyn, and of course I was GLaDOS. We never met. They recorded J.K. Simmons in LA, they recorded Stephen Wheatley in London. They were Stephen Merchant. Uh, Stephen Merchant. <laughs> Stephen Wheatley, he is Stephen Wheatley. Stephen Wheatley Merchant. <laughs> they recorded him in London. What now. they Ellen did is they played recordings for each of us. So all of us were able to respond to lines recorded by the other actors. But we never met. We never met, but we did respond to recordings. And one thing I have to say about J.K. Simmons and Stephen Merchant, both of those actors are excellent improvisers. They improvise all the time. The whole lemon speech, notice my lemon scarf? J.K. Simmons improvised that. A lot of the stuff that's in the game that Wheatley says, Stephen Merchant improvised it. <laughs> so, um, I don't improvise. 99.99999 of everything that I said in the Portal games was written by Eric Wolpaw, Jay Pinkerton, and Chet Palasek. Except the Turret Opera. And the Turret Opera, I improvised the lyrics for the Turret Opera. Woo! Because I speak Italian. Parlo Italiano. Woo! Woo! See? And, I, and I made it up. But I made it up in my bad Italian. So it actually is rather bad Italian, <laughs> but I made that up. With just a soup song of Spanish. Yes, un peu. <laughs> Un poquito <laughs> of Espanol. Yes, John? Um, yes, yes, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And actually, where we record the Valve games is at a studio in Seattle called Pure Audio. 
And so when we say the booth, it's actually quite a large room. And absolutely we move around. Absolutely. Depending on the character, I will say that my administrator moves around. You know, GLaDOS doesn't move that much. But the administrator gets very involved. Very but, of course, but, but it's important to know that, that as a voice actor, I mean, you do want to allow it into your body because it helps you act. But to do that as a good voice actor, you have to maintain the distance between your mouth and the microphone. Yes. So you're moving like this. You know, everything's moving with your mouth. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I move this way. Victory! <laughs> yes, ma'am. The opinion of all snipers about all the rest of the people on the team <laughs> is that they're all crap. <laughs> they're not professionals. They don't have standards. Sorry. I mean, they, don't, they, don't, they probably don't even call that months and days. <laughs> yeah, what do you call it? Scout. <laughs> yes, sir. Middle of nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. Grew up uh, fighting sand sharks. Okay, one more question from this gentleman in the hat. Because uh, it's still ongoing, depending on if you watch the interview or not. Is Pyro a guy or girl? That's awesome. Oh, is Pyro a guy or a girl? As though those were the only two choices. <laughs> <laughs>